Okay, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107 out and home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault, B High Radio Shout in. Stepping in the building, I got my partner in this thing, the remix god himself, DJ Sway. Hey, man. What's good with it, my dog? What's going on, B High? Man, feeling good, feeling great, Sway. Bless but the hey, man, I got to get straight to it, though, because see, the last time you came in here, we was talking about remixes that you were making on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But that was before the plaque started coming. Yeah, out. man. I mean, can you break down that NBA young boy? I am who they say I am. Hey, man, man it's, it's probably a month or so from being platinum now. What? Uh, the album went platinum in August, so that's that's two plaques already for me. Whew. Um, I got, we, matter of fact, his engineer told me he did four more records. Yeah. So, you know, he drops some every month, so ain't no telling when they're going to come out. So I can't wait. I mean, talk about how that connection hooked up and then also break down how you felt when you heard that man go crazy on that damn track. Because when I heard that song, I knew that was it right there. It was a deal breaker for me, man. I was excited. You know, it, yeah. it got me put out that remix. But they're like, oh, this man, he'll make real music. And, um, you know, I went through, the, I sent some beats to the label just randomly. Just like, man, they might mess with it or whatever. And yeah. then it was just one of them tracks you just can't, you can't pass over on, you know. I mean, talk to me about being in that remix box, man. What was that like for you when you knew you had the internet going nuts, but then you were like, hey, man, I got other <laughs> gifts and talents I got to give these folks. Well, being that, that you, some people call it a gimmick. I just call it marketing. Yeah. You know, it was a good marketing tool for me to get my fan base where it said over half of me and on all my platforms, get my streams up. But then it was like, dang, like I really want to show them I really do this. So uh, my big dog, Juicy J, and my, my team, they was like, well, you need to start posting more yourself being in the studio, more yourself being with other producers, collabing with artists. Yeah. Um, whether they're they're big artists or small up and coming local artists. That's right. Because it's somebody blowing up every day. Facts. So I try to tap in with everybody. I mean, talk to me about the game that you get from Juicy J though, man. Cause I mean when man. it comes to production, he's one of the top five of all time. Well, a lot of people don't know we're on the same team. Ooh. We got the same team and you know, I go to LA like every month, every other month to work with him in the game and it's you gotta soak he's an OG, he's a He's a legend, and he's one of the more the more relevant. You got the Snoops of the world, and then you got Jay that's yeah. still making music and still getting plays. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, he just keep, you know, when we do talk, if it ain't about music, he's just like, man, you just got to keep doing it. It yeah. ain't gonna happen overnight, but when it happens, it's gonna happen. I mean, talk to me about staying down, though, Sway, because, see, as a guy that was tanned up Instagram, you know, from afar, you know, folks would feel like the wind was behind your back. But what was it that was going through your mind during them times when you was thinking, it's got to be something better than it? Man, we all go through it. Mm -hmm. We all go through things for a reason. Yeah. And, um, you know, when, when, you, when you're back against the wall, when it gets slow motion, you just got to keep your head high and keep grinding. Exactly. When you, you know, you might want to take a break here and there, but you can't get too too lazy, too complacent. Me and my brother was just talking about that. Yeah. Like, when you start grinding, there's somebody always trying to take your spot, no matter what you do. What goes through your mind, though, too, on that Instagram, though, man? Because, I mean, do you still give a damn about Instagram? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, we're living in a world where, where, like I say, I think I touched on this before, but long story short, man, social media, is a it ain't the only tool, but it's one of the biggest marketing tools you can use. Facts. Because everybody waking up in the morning before they brush their teeth, morning mm -hmm. breath and all, checking yeah. their Instagram, checking to see if that girl DM them, checking to see if their artist done blowed up. Yeah. That's what's going on. Nah, I mean, working with the likes of Wale, man. I mean, what was that like getting down with that guy? That's my guy, man. So uh, it all started. He tapped in with me during the remix, you know, when I was really heavy on the remix. I done yeah. slowed down a little bit doing yeah. remix, but I'm going to tap back into it when I can. But he reached out like, hey, man, you dope. Send me some beats. He was one of the only artists that reached out for real beats. What? Um, besides, you know, Tip and besides uh, uh, Juicy J. Yeah. So he reached out and he wanted, you know, a DJ too. He wanted me to DJ for a Shine tour. Uh, two years ago, he dropped the Shine album. Yeah. A dope album. And um, we've been super, that's, that's, my, that's my dog, man. And we're working on some stuff right now. Like, uh, I, we did a track called Gemini during Gemini season. Yeah. It's going to get played every Gemini season. Um, and we're working on some new, some new crap right now. What is it like for you, though, Sway, when you drop that track and then that artist goes crazy on it? Because, I mean, back to the young boy, when that man went crazy <laughs> on that track, what were you thinking when you got that thing back, man? I was, I was, I was so ecstatic to the point where it was like, this it right here. Ooh. Now people got to, they got to, they got to pay attention. This is an opportunity for me to just capitalize and keep going, and that's what I did. Now, working with Megan Thee Stallion, though, man, I mean, the hottest female in the game right now, if not one of the hottest in the game, what is that like when you got to serve her them tracks? And you know Megan, she's going to bring it on there as well. She don't, she ain't, she ain't lost yet. 
Oh, you know what I'm saying? She, she. One thing about her, she embraces everybody. She, yeah, she ain't nothing but love. So it's exactly. hard to hate on her. It's, it's easy to hate on her, but it's hard to like to ignore. You gotta, you gotta pay attention to her. Exactly. That's why she's so hot. Yeah, she ain't bringing no, you know, no BS on the track. She ain't with the drum or whatever. She's just making hot music. Facts. And when she did Simon Says that I co-produced on, when she did mm. Pimping that I did on her album that also won a BET award, by the way. Oh, like she just go crazy, just talking that talk. And she can really rap. Exactly. What's going through your mind now as a full-blooded producer in the game, though, man? You know what, man? It's 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 amazing, man. It's it's a, it's a lot of competition. Ooh. Um, and and a lot of people can call it what they want, but at the end of the day, it's competition. Yeah. You know, you trying to get with the dopest artist. You, but the biggest thing is, I like the fact that just be able to hear yourself on the radio, being yeah. able to just create sound. Cause that's my guy over there, man. Or uh, Sean Black, by the way. What up, no Sean? Hey, man, I like to just see how people just just get on your track and go like. And then I like to sit in the in the studio with them too. Yeah. And it's just you just building a, a foundation, and then you just make something that everybody loves. And it's like, damn, we did this. Whether we did it in a day or a month, we got it done, and not everybody loved it. It's the best feeling in the world. What is your creative process though, Sway? When you get in that studio and it's time to cook up though. Um, a little Tito's. <laughs> uh, man, get you know I, I'm on my I'm on my little health journey, man. So I don't slow down. So yeah. I, I might get me a little chicken salad and some wine, man, and, <laughs> and I get my vibe going. And and I don't I don't know what I'm gonna make. Yeah, it just comes to me. Ooh. I might have a bassist to come. I might have a pianoist to come. Mm -hmm. I might cook it off from scratch. How I'm feeling, and we gonna make crap that night. Now, I also understand that you teamed up with Idris Elba, man. Oh, that's my brother, man. That's my big brother. I mean, how did that link up come about? Instagram. Ooh. Um, back in 2018, January, actually probably about two months from the day. I'm sorry, two years from the day. Yeah. Uh, his daughter, um, shout out to Eastside Elbert, uh, she had a sweet 16. Yeah. And he reached out to a former manager of mine, like, hey, I want, she wants Sway to DJ, I need Sway to DJ, whatever we got to do. It's crazy. My daughter loves him. Yeah. And I'm thinking my manager line. I'm like, man, hey, come <laughs> on, man. He and he's a DJ himself. Yeah. A lot of people don't like don't know that. So when he reached out to for me to do that, and I got on the phone when I heard that British accent, I was like, <laughs> oh, this real. Yeah. And he gave me a big bag for it, man, and we, and we stayed in touch, and we we actually in the studio like every other day. How is it for you now, though, Sway? Because I mean, navigating both sides of the industry, the social media side versus the doggone music industry side. What is the difference between both of those games, man? Um, it's a big difference. So, to me. social media is is what it is. It's, it's to be social. Yeah. But you can't let that be the one all end all. You got to get in these streets. You got to get in these clubs. You got to talk to these DJs. You got to network with the promoters, the the personalities, the the club owners. You got to build a network because if you depend on social media and just sitting there by the DMs all day. That's not gonna work. <laughs> you gotta get out here and get it. And it's a lot of people, and I'm sure in, in your DMs as well. Come on, man. <laughs> no disrespect to the DMs out there, but you know, you gotta get off your tail and get 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 this work. Can you speak to the grind though, Sway? Can you speak to your personal grind that you had to, you know, conduct to get to where you at right now? Um, I really just had to just pull up on, you know, pull up on different DJs. Cause I started out DJing. For yeah. Me. That's what it really was. Um I started out producing and I, I, I kinda like I stopped believing in myself to just mm. be transparent, which I was like, nah, this, I love music, so I'm just, I like DJing too. Yeah. Started DJing, um, and when I started producing for people like Thug and Migos when I was back in Albany State, yeah. Yeah. Um, back then, I was like, dang, they rocking with this, I might as well get back on my grind, because yeah. I got a whole bunch of other stuff I can do. So, the grind really, is, man, is just, is just finding something that's going to keep you um, uh, motivated but humble at the same time yeah. and DJing did that for me because I get to meet different people yeah. and when people like your stuff it's just motivation and inspiration for you exactly. so uh, I would say DJing and just being a social person I'm a real anybody that know me I'm super cool I love to see people happy I love to see people dancing and stuff like yeah. that so that's that was that was my work right there man it's just 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 staying grinding I mean I come up with different stuff every day just trying to you know get to that next level when it comes to timing of it all, man, I mean, how do you feel like timing played a role in everything? And then also, how long was the time on the grind before that sun began to shine? Man, for anybody that feel uh, discouraged or not motivated at all, it, I've been producing since 12 years old. I just, God bless me to turn 29. <laughs> I turned 30 this year in November. So we're talking 17 plus years before I really just started 
you know, where I'm at. Because I'm nowhere near where God want me to be. That's but I'm, right. I'm working, you know what I'm saying? And it's working out. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm able to purchase things I couldn't purchase Thanks. before. I'm able to do certain things that I couldn't do. I got a roof over my head and I ain't begging nobody for it. Come on now. And that's that itself is a blessing in itself. What went through your mind when that first big bag came in and you realized that I was getting this stuff off the <laughs> internet? Man, you know what, man? Don't, don't internet pub checks be so crazy. Whew. I ain't gonna lie, man. This this holiday right here was probably the one of the best holidays I've had. Are you serious? You know, because you have the sports cat, the ESPNs of the world, the TNTs, the Shannon Sharps, the, all these people are playing and they're singing it on, you know, that's a check. What? Every time it's spent on TV. You know what I'm saying? My and, God. And it's, it's, it's a blessing, man. That's all I can really say. Break down the pub game to those that don't understand, man, because a lot of times people, they just hear music and they don't even know the business aspect of it all. Don't ever sell it. Don't ever sell your publishing. Your mm-hmm. publishing, that's, that's your heart. I mean, my brother's also talking about this, man. Long story short about your pub, man, you can live off that forever. Facts. For the rest of your life. Come on. I would love to see, Um, shout out to the producers too, because they don't get enough love. I, w- I would love to see what Wheezy out of here, or Metro Booming, Ooh. or, you know, these, these a level class, you know, absolute and Jets and May. He's yeah. one of the hottest producers. That's my guy. They publishing going crazy. I know, but you know, you wanna, you wanna just stay grinding and learn about it, and and just really what it is, man. It can be um, you got publishing royalties, you got performance royalties, then you get the publishing checks, but you can get the mechanical royalties for it's like sales and stuff like yeah. that. Um, you, long story short, man, get an entertainment lawyer, man. <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't gonna tell you no lie. You ain't never lied. Now, I mean, I understand you also working with that boy Tip. That's my, that's my guy, man. So what happened is I ain't necessarily working with him, yeah. but I did. It's funny because I did a remix for him. He was yeah. out of Spain with his family, mm-hmm. and my family like he was saying he was just, uh, just walking around, and there was some people playing the guitars behind him. Yeah, just in the background, he was just, just sitting there, just nodding his head. Yeah, I'm like, like this, okay. I took it and remixed. It, Ooh, sent it to him. He was like, hey, but it cold. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent it to his email. He was like, "Yeah, don't send this to nobody." Ooh. So it was really, and then when I ran into him, it's all love. Like when I went to um his private dinner party, uh, his private birthday uh, dinner party, maybe like a few months back. Yeah. Uh, he was like, "Bro, don't get that beat nobody." <laughs> you know, the beat three, four months old. He's like, "Don't get that beat nobody." He's like, "Man, you you cold." So you know, rather we work a lot from here, it's just a pleasure to just be able to meet people you grew up on. Exactly. I, I share stuff like that. What goes through your mind when you get a chance to be in the room with these folks, man, and they receive you on that level of respect? Um, I gotta be honest. You, we've all been to a point where it's like, dang, did I? This, is this really happening right now? Mm-hmm. You know, it's a surprise. It's, it's like, dang. You know, it's, it's, it's. I keep saying it's a blessing, man, but it, it really is, bro. Cause when I'm in, the, when I'm in the stu- when I was in the studio with Young Boy Quando, yeah. When I'm in the studio with Missy Elliott, when I'm uh-huh. in the studio with Wale, when I'm in the studio, you know, with with Juicy J, like you have to. I mean, I really can't explain the feeling, honestly. I mean, when you're in the studio with Missy Elliott, I mean, what is that like, man? You know what's crazy? Missy broke my heart. What? She and, and it was in a good way. <laughs> I love her to death, man. That's 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 real OG. Yeah. I went in the studio because she hit me up on Twitter. She's like, you cold, man. Let's let's get in the yo. Yeah. So this was just maybe less than a year ago. And my brother was there. He he heard the whole thing. And Cause she was complaining about how hot the room was. Yeah. So <laughs> So we got in there and I just thought I had some crack ready for her. Woo. I'm playing the beat. She was like, D cool. You pass that jet over there. I gotta talk to you. I was like, he can tell you if I'm lying or not. I was like, okay. You feeling him? She was like, they cool. And anybody know when an artist say they cool, Ooh. they finna pass on them. Yeah. So when she, but the biggest thing that I ever got, and I probably would cherish this more than recording an actual song with a person like Missy Ellis. She broke down some, she sat there for an hour and, and just talked to me. Mm. Like, hey, you got to turn up. These cool when you're doing these samples, you got to chop them up. You you know, when, when she was, she got to tell them when she was in the studio with Timberland. Yeah. And all these, and Aaliyah, and like, yeah. I, telling me all these stories, like people would, Shade Room, all these other outlets would love to hear. Exactly. So I had to soak the game, and she just really just sat down like, hey, when anybody in the room, if it's a purple party, you need to wear black and Ooh. you need to be different. You need you cool, but you can do a lot better. Mm-hmm. So that was just motivation for me, man. So I thought we was going to go record about 10 tracks. We ain't recording nothing. Ooh. But I left with some good game, though.
Talk to me about that humility, though, man. Being able to take that advice and understand that this was a teachable moment that you was in the middle of at that time. I don't think anybody could be mad at me, man. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, just hearing it from the average Joe, it'll be like, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> just being transparent <laughs> with, you. with you. But it's like you know, this this is this 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 is really one of the queens of hip hop, right? Facts. Now. You know what I'm saying? She ain't just giving this game to anybody. She giving this game to somebody she believe in, and that's how I took it and I ran with it. And it's working out for me. Now when I send a trash, she like. Don't send it to nobody. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> you know exactly. Talk to me about how that elevated your game, and then when you went back into the lab cooking up, I mean, what was that like for you? It was super motivating, man, because yeah. once I started, when I was like, okay, she got it like this, and I sent it to her, she really liked it. She was like, now I see the growth. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't tell you what she really said, but she was like, <laughs> now I see the growth. There you go. And, you know, when I that motivation, that inspiration right there alone, it's like, okay, now nobody can't tell me nothing. Exactly. I just had Missy tell me my beats fire. Who gonna tell me my beats ain't fire? Come on now. You know what I'm saying? So I just I just take that spirit and that attitude and that motivation with me every time I whether I'm working at home or whether I'm in the studio with Obama, I'm finna bring that heat. Fact. I know you're gonna like it, you know what I'm saying? Now, outside of the music though, man, I know you get busy with the investments. I mean, break oh, that man. down and tell me why that is so important to you as well, man. Hey man, I would love for the younger generation to hear this. You know, you've yeah. heard Nipsey talk about it, you heard Tip talk about it, you've heard all these Instagram influencers talk about it, but you know, investment is big, man. I'm I'm on my uh third property now. Ooh. Um, I bought my first one like last August. Yeah. And it ain't been a year yet. So and uh I don't know if anybody interested in Airbnb, but that, that, that's, it's real. Yeah, man. You know, um, it's it's real, real. So when I'm I'm seeing myself like, dang, I always think to myself like, I know I'm dope at what I do, mm -hmm. but in order to be successful in the music, people have to love your music. That's right. So if people start loving my music, what do I have? Ooh, I don't have a plan B for real. Come but on now. now. So I was like, I gotta find this money I'm making could stop at any time. Facts. What can I invest in that people's always gonna need? So I started buying houses. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Talk about how empowering that was for you when you developed that new stream of income outside of entertainment though, man. Man, you know what? I, I wake up every morning with a smile on my face. Man. Facts. Because you know, now I'm working on buying my mom a crib. Now Ooh. you know what I'm saying? So it's like at times I I never dreamed of being able to do it. I always dreamed of wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. But being able to take my mama to the lot to let her get what she wants. Exactly. But now it's become a reality. Reality. And I think there's anybody from the hood or anybody that's young and trying to get it. I think anybody that helped them along the way, mm -hmm. they would love to be able to, you know, do what I'm trying to do. Exactly. Or what I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. So now going forward though, Sway, what is the game that you got for the next guy that is watch you go and blow up on Instagram, <laughs> transition into the music industry and get them plaques on deck at the same time? What do you tell them, man? What's the blueprint? Man, the blueprint is really simple, man. You just got to just put faith in yourself. I know it's cliche. Believe in yourself is, is only half the battle. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But you when you got to just be able to figure it out on your own. It ain't really no scientific method to yeah. it. You just got to grind. You got to get off your ass and get it. Come you on. Know, you got you, if, if you do music, you need to be in the studio every day. You need to be figuring out how can I make my beats better? How can I be different? You know, if you're an actor, you need to be in acting class every other day. That's if you're right. a hooper, you need to be shooting layups and jump shots and free throws every day. Facts. So to anybody that's listening to this, man, I say, man, you got to just really just put all your, your whole mind into the grind. You know, you can't slack off. As soon as you take a little break, somebody trying to get better than you. Facts. Talk to me about the sway before Instagram and before the music, man. Who is this guy now versus <laughs> that guy then? I thought you never asked. I was working. Listen, man. <laughs> I, you know, before the college, before graduating from college, I, I worked at Dairy Queen. I watched Cars. Yeah. I worked at Sears. Um, I, man, I, I done, I done had about 10 to 9 to 5. I don't work that walk. Man, listen. I done did everything that's humanly possible as far as like, you know, 9 to 5 work. Yeah. It did work. Trying to figure it out. Because I grew up in the street, but I ain't never been this street guy that just finna go out here and, exactly. and do, you know, because my family just, they, they kept me away from it. Come on. I, and I grew up in church. Come on. But I grew up around it, so it's like, dang. The Dairy Queen flipping these blizzards. <laughs> hey, man, I used to I used to sell blizzards out the back door, though. <laughs> so I got tired of that, because yeah. that wasn't hitting on nothing. Come on. That extra $2, man, for extra Oreo on your blizzard, man, exactly. that wasn't hitting on nothing. I'm, and I'm, I'm, my, my trap friend, they like, bro. When you gonna when you gonna come get the real exactly. money? Exactly. But you know, it worked out for, for 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 what I'm doing now. It worked out for the best. Cause who knows if I took another rock, it could have been a whole another sway. Come on, I probably now. wouldn't be here with that boy. Be high. 
Come on, man. Come I'm on, glad man. to have you in this thing. Lastly, is there anything else you want to get off your chest? And how can these folk contact you, man? Hey, man, all uh, social media, Remix Guy Sway, Pornhub, Remix Guy Sway, all that. Uh, I just want to shout out to my boy, uh, Sean Black. It's one of our artists. Sean. Sure. My brother right here, Fresh Performances, Fred. man. Uh, shout out to Mama, shout out to my brother Marcus, my nieces. Uh, and to get off my chest, man, I just, I just, I just really encourage mm-hmm. all producers, anybody in the music industry, anybody in really any industry making real money, yeah, find something to invest in. Come on now, come it, on it, now. When it when they go solid and you ain't got nothing to fall back on, what you gonna do? Who you telling? So that's that. I can dig it. Sway, my guy. Appreciate you coming through this thing, all my love, dog. Man. Wish you nothing but the best and much success. Much love. Be high radio shout it. It's out with 079, man. Let's go. Radio shouting. Shout it.